Well, Dave, one all. Fair result tonight? Um, probably. Um, in t especially, well, when it went to 1 1, it, it looked like that was going to be the, the result um, at the end of it. Um, I suppose it shows how the difference in potential moments in, in games where width of the post away from going to up after 15 minutes and then victim of, listen, a, a mistake from our perspective in terms of communication between us and Fraser, but then a, a strike that, um, would you say, was, was, was deserving of getting getting them something from the game. It's a, it, it's a worldie and um, you, you can't really uh, do much about it apart from deal with the threat before, before he has the shot. Because they got a similar goal, didn't they, against Stevenage from a throw in like that? Obviously, not a hit like that, but a similar position. Yeah, that's a listen, not a one in a million strike, mm. but it's it's an unbelievable strike. Um, uh, it's a bit a big one for us. I think it's a a bugbear of mine certainly as a defender around our communication at the back. Yeah. Um, I think it makes. I, I, listen, I, I was the sort of defender and, and Clint likewise that almost commentated on the game and demanded of people in front of you. I don't think we have that enough. Um, and it's something that potentially will hold players back and, and, and not make the game easier for them. That's something that, like I say, we need to be miles better at. Um, too many people make the jobs more difficult by not dominating and screaming about, around people that are in front of them. I said to them at the end there, it should be a case of well, you just shut up because you should be on it and you can see the whole picture um, and ultimately you can get other people to do your job for you. Um, I mean, you do that better and that's a, um, a, a thing that, although, again, take the strike away from it, we've got to look at how we can defend it better and, and we can in that instance. Having said that, you made a fantastic start tonight. Uh, Kyle Noyle, obviously, persistence, tenacity, composure to pull it back. But Connor Evans, how important is that goal for him? Because he looks rejuvenated since he's come back. Yeah, I, I, I said to, to, to Connor when, when we brought him back in, I, I, I said that in, in his situation, um, I was bringing him back and he would play against Swindon and he would play tonight. Mm. So. I suppose for him it was about going and showing what you can what you can do. He, he's got to show more more belief about himself. He's a like I say he's a pretty introverted character. Yeah. Um, and when you think the majority of footballers that play this level have, I suppose an ultra confidence in themselves outwardly. Mm. Um, and when you go higher up, it almost bridges on uh, arrogance. He's not that type. So. Again, made up for him and the fact that he's he's got his goal. Um, hopefully, that has a like I say has a has an impact on him, um, and he can he can kick on because like I say he, he was brought here as I suppose one that was unproven in league football, mm. but has been fantastic in the in the national league. But one thing I, w I would say with, with him as as well his previous clubs it has taken him a little bit of, a bit of time probably due to his like I say due to his personality and due to his character so we've had to be patient we we, we sent him out obviously to, to play some games at, at knots but injuries and things meant that we needed him needed him back and hopefully plays an important part to him on the end of the season Paddy Madden 100th appearance for him tonight the script seemed to be written in that 15th minute you mentioned it already these are the fine margins we're talking about because a 2-0 lead after the quarter hour mark would be an unbelievable start. Yeah, absolutely. yeah, absolutely. I, I didn't know it was Paddy's hundredth, hundredth, uh, hundredth appearance. So that's that's news. Um, no, listen, you wouldn't want it to fall to anybody yeah. else, and he's just even then when it's at the post, you think it's going in off the post. He's, he's just dragged it a little bit. Um, we then again, just in terms of being able to manage them, really that technically that they're, they're good and, and take you into areas you don't want to. We have to change our shape a little bit. Yeah. Um, and drop him into a, an area where he's not as effective. Um, and again, you look at making the change in the second half, it was more around us trying to get some more control in the game, if you like, mm. um, higher up the pitch, rather than us not playing and just being pretty one-dimensional in terms of playing forward and being a, being a counter-press. Um, this didn't work as well as what we'd, what we'd hoped, mm. but... Um, we thought that was the best way to go to try and win the game. Look, you still lost just one in 13. You're still very much in the mix. And now you've got a free weekend. What What do you do? Do you take in a game? The top four playing each other? Do you take in a game? Yeah, well, I'm going to Walsall. So yeah. obviously Walsall, sort of at Walsall. So um, I'm going there and we'll, 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 again, I suppose what we can do is 
um, sit back and hope that maybe there's a draw in one game, I won't say yeah. which one, and maybe one other team wins another well, game, and, yeah. <laughs> and, we, and, and we see where, where we're at. But at the start of March, you either said, well, listen, we'll be unbeaten through March. Yeah. You'd absolutely have taken it. Yeah. Um, you can always sit back in hindsight and go, well, we've had home games here, and I think we've probably drawn, I think we've probably drawn four, mm, four home games. Right, yeah, so, yeah. But two of them were against um, teams that didn't come to win the game, and that becomes difficult, and we can reflect and go, if we get a goal, then we potentially win it. We've conceded a 93rd minute equaliser from the one shot on target a team has had, and we've conceded a worldly tonight that's, that's got them a, got them a point. So we've got to look at it in a way that goes, all right, we, we part that. Um, tonight becomes a good point or a better point if we go and win at, at Sutton next week, next weekend, which which will be tough. Um, but we do everything to be, we can, sorry, to make that be the case. As a player and a manager, you'll have been through many Easter campaigns. Those games, Sutton away, Newport, then at home. Is it season defining? Do you think, Dave, that period Easter? Um, potentially, you can look at it in that way. I suppose a lot of that will depend on what happens um, in in the first yeah. first of those games and what happens tomorrow in terms of in terms of fixtures. Um, what it can do is it, it can shape things significantly in terms of two games in a in a short space short space of time. Um, but our focus, like I say, has got to be one game. That, that we, Going to Sutton is a, a, like I say, a really, really tough place to go, um, and we'll be thoroughly prepared to to go there to go there and do that. We then turn it round and, as you say, come back here. There's always something special about that that, that Easter weekend, like you say, and that'll take us with, I don't know, five to five to go. Is it after mm -hmm. after that? Um, hopefully, we're having to play for. Dave, appreciate your time. Thanks very much. Cheers, John. Thank Good you. Night.